Good afternoon, my name is Todd Wesley and I'm the Dining Service Manager here at White Cliff Terrace. The month of September's theme of Living, Loving, Local is the pear. So this afternoon I would like to demonstrate poaching a pear for you. Poaching a pear in red wine is a classic French dessert that originated in the wine growing regions of Burgundy and Lyon. Pear Bois Halen is the official name of the dish and it was invented by the legendary chef Augustus Escoffier. He was the grandfather of all modern aspects of cooking, from the creation of the five mother sauces to the kitchen brigade systems that's used to this day. The poaching liquid of a pear is traditionally uh, based of a red wine and is infused with anything from cinnamon stick to star anise, cloves, citrus zest, and other alcohols such as bourbon or sherry blackberries or cherry and any other fruits. It's very similar to a malt wine which is a European based holiday tree. So the method is to get some red wine and infuse it with these items and I have gone with everything mentioned there minus the uh, cherries and we get our pear and we put it in there and we make sure that it's not, if it's not submerged we'll merely rotate it as it poaches but it's at a rolling boil and so what we're gonna do now is turn it down to a simmer. And so you are aware, and this is going to take about anywhere from 20 minutes to half an hour. Once our pear is poached for 20 to 30 minutes, we can remove it from the liquid to cool down, or you have the option of leaving it in the liquid and let them both cool overnight. This is what I recommend to get the most flavor if we're to soak in the flavor. When it's cool, the next day it's time to consume it and many popular things to consume with a poached pear are grapes, fresh fruit, and the most common and popular one is what I have done with today. I have two quenelles of mascarpone cheese and some fresh berries with some candied citrus zest. This is the best combination and the most classic. Uh, I find that it's a very good uh, thing to have for dessert. I hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration. So if you wish to, please take the time to try to make such a delicate uh, French dessert and enjoy.